Keys to Christian Growth Lesson 6 The Importance of Meeting with Other Believers God has a unique plan for every believer's life. In Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. God has a unique plan for every believer's life. However, for a believer to fulfill God's plan for their life and to appropriate all that God has planned for their life, they must continue to remain strong in their faith. The moment we become a Christian, we enter into a spiritual war in which the enemy, the devil, will do everything he can to try and discourage us and distract us from fulfilling God's plan and purpose for our life. When we grow in our faith and follow God's plan for our life, many of others will invariably come to faith and in turn help others to come to Christ. God wants all believers to walk in victory and to enter into the abundant life that Jesus spoke of. In the Gospel of John, we see Jesus clearly emphasizing the ongoing warfare that we go through in life. In John 10.10, 10, Jesus said, The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Being in fellowship and meeting with other committed believers is one major key to remaining strong in our faith and fulfilling God's destiny for our life. In the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23 to 25, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering for he who promised is faithful and let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as is the manner of some but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching I will now share seven reasons why having fellowship with other believers is so important. Number one, we will remain strong in our faith and our lives will bear much fruit. It is within the context of connecting with other believers that we will fulfill God's plan and purpose for our life. The church was God's idea and it is by connecting with other Christians that God brings into our life that we will see God's plan for our life unfold. As an individual, we can achieve little, but as a, lead, as a team, we can achieve much. God has a church home fellowship for every believer in which they can develop and grow in their faith and bear much fruit. In Psalm chapter 92 verse 13 to 14, those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing. Number two, we have accountability to others which helps us to make right choices in life. Being connected and accountable to other mature Christians helps us to avoid making unnecessary mistakes in life. Having a teachable and humble spirit is a key to promotion in God's kingdom. Being accountable to others helps us to grow in humility and to be more willing to receive correction and advice from others. Having a teachable spirit
helps us to be better equipped to make right choices in life. In the book of Proverbs chapter 11 verse 14, Where there is no counsel, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Number three, we can receive encouragement and support from others during tough times. The Bible makes it clear that we must go through many tribulations to enter the kingdom of God in Acts chapter 14 verse 22 and in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12 and that all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. When we make a choice to live wholeheartedly to, for Christ, we will at times experience rejection even sometimes from our own family members. For this reason, it is important that we have other Christians in our life who can encourage and support us in our walk with the Lord. In the book of Hebrews chapter 3 verse 12 to 14, Beware, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God, but exhort one another daily, while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we have become partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end. Number four. We will grow in our Christian walk and be equipped for the work of ministry. Every believer has a unique God-given plan and destiny for their life. It is within the context of a local church fellowship that believers can be strengthened in their faith and equipped for the ministry that God has given them. Every believer has a ministry and mission field. God himself appoints certain believers into the five-fold ministry to help strengthen and equip all Christians for the work of ministry. The Apostle Paul wrote in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11 to 13, And he, Jesus himself, gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God number five we will be given the opportunity to use our ministry gifts to help see the church grow Using our God-given gifts is a key to experiencing abundant life. When we are a part of a local church fellowship, we are given the opportunity to use our spiritual gifts to help see the entire body of Christ being built up and strengthened. As we use our spiritual gifts, we also help others to come to faith and to fulfill God's plan and purpose for their life. The Apostle Paul wrote in Romans chapter 12 verse 6 to 8, Having then gifts differing according to the grace that, give, that is given to us, let us use them if prophecy, let us prophecy in proportion to our faith or ministry, let us use it in our ministering. He who teaches in teaching, he who exhorts in exhortation, he who gives with liberality, he who leads with diligence, he who shows mercy with cheerfulness. And in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 16, from whom the whole body joined and knit together 
by what every joint supplies according to the effective working by which is every part does its share causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love within the context of a local church setting we can best use our spiritual gifts number six we will experience the blessings from being connected to a church family. Being part of a local church fellowship helps to give believers a sense of belonging and connectedness to God's family. For many people, especially those who have come from broken homes, the church family will often provide them with a greater degree of love and acceptance than that which they receive from their own family members. Loving church communities were a prominent feature of the early ch church. In the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 32 to 33, now the multitude of those who believed were of one heart and one soul. Neither did anyone say that any of these things he can possess was his own, but they had all things in common. And with great power, the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Number 7. We can develop godly friendships, which will help us to grow in our faith. When we commit to a local church, it is impossible to develop good godly friendships, which is also a key to experiencing the abundant life that Jesus spoke of in John 10.10. 10. Having godly friendships and associations is a key to growing in our faith and fulfilling God's plan for our life. In the book of Proverbs chapter 12 verse 26, The righteous should choose his friends carefully, for the way of the wicked leads them astray.